Hey guys, welcome back to Brass Lab. I'm here with Joey and we're here uh, to uh, test our own DIY homemade body armor and uh, see which one performs better. Joey, do you kind of want to explain how your body armor is put, put, put together? Sure, so on the front, I have two 14 by 10 ceramic plates. I use fiberglass and silicone to hold them together. Then behind that, I have 5 8 rebar going all the way across. With that rebar, I have fiberglass woven in between. For the resin, I use fiberglass resin mixed with cement. Behind that is another fiber or another ceramic plate, and then around the entire shell is five layers of fiberglass, and then it's rust only and bed liner across that. That's pretty sick. Uh, my plate is a little little more simple, I think, but still pretty convoluted. I got one layer of a PEI five rated ceramic tile, 12 by 12. Behind that, I've got a bunch of polyethylene layers, uh, ultra high density polyethylene and uh, ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, two different kinds of layers layered with each other. And then I, I couldn't get them to heat bind. So I just used polyurethane uh, to kind of put them together and hope for the best. <laughs> Behind that, I've got just as a safety measure, I've got a quarter inch steel plate uh, wrapped around it all, keeping it all together is a uh, polyurethane with uh, wrapped in a black denim sheet so very nice what we're going to start with because we want to give each of these plates the best chance to stop the most common rifle round with 556 so we're going to shoot with a 556 first and then after that depending on how it performs if it stops 556 we'll shoot with a 308 if it doesn't stop a 556 we'll go down to a nine millimeter so we're going to start with 556 yeah let's do it actually before i put them down range let me explain if we were going purely for Gucci factor, we would shoot this 11.5 MCX Virtus that is just absolutely gorgeous in this tan coloring with the can and everything just all decked out. But it's only 11.5 inch barrel, 11.5 inch. And that's relatively short and we wanted to give the 5.56 a more realistic uh, velocity for more common rifles. 14.5 uh, is a little shorter than the most common 16 inch barrel length, but I figured that's close enough. So we got a, another MCX to 14.5 here. That's very basic, brand new, not really kitted out, but iron sights so should be good enough for 25 yards. So because we weren't really thinking ahead, we don't have uh, a clay backer or anything like that. Uh, depending on the performance here today, we might come back and try again with a more scientific test in that regard. But for now, we're just gonna shoot it without really much of a backstop and uh, see how it performs in those conditions. That looked like a hit on mine. There's a hit on both. This is the moment of truth, man. We've been waiting months for this. I'm real curious. I feel like mine took it fairly well. At least it looked like it. Wow. Mine stopped it. Mine didn't even penetrate the very beginning, I don't think. But it definitely bulged it. Okay, you want to show the backside on yours? So just a slight bulge, but enough to knock off, chip off some of the finish. Expose some of the fiberglass. The very front, I don't think it penetrated. I think it was just enough to bend the whole plate. I hope that uh, the video caught the like spray of uh, ceramic coming out of mine. But I'm curious, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to di dissecting this when I get home. But you can definitely tell put my thumb in the hole where it shot through, but there's nothing on the backside, no deformation. I mean, these are pretty hefty plates. I think our plan was kind of to see, make sure that these would work, and then we can make more slimline, lighter weight, future, smaller, as we learn what works and what doesn't work. Okay, shall we move on to 308? Let's do it. By the way, guys. Uh, we were shooting those plates with Stryker M193, 55 grain ball ammo. So it wasn't uh, it wasn't green tips or anything like that, but it was the most common type of a uh, round you'd see for 5.56. Stopped it really well. Now we're going to be trying, even though this is in a SIG box, this is a ZQI M80 ball 308 or 762 by 51 NATO rather. So that's a 147 grade projectile at around 2,700 feet per second-ish. I'm gonna be shooting that out of a Patriot Ordnance Factory 
Revolution DI with a 16 inch barrel. Oh, right through. That's unfortunate. I'm really curious on what it looks like inside. With all that concrete in there, or the cement. Yeah, that did some damage. I feel the rebar. It went between the rebar. Okay. I was hoping the fiberglass holding it together would be enough. It's pretty wicked. Yeah, it just went straight through the rebar. The rebar is still intact. All right, we got a very big front deformation here. When it hit my plate, where the ceramic bulged out. However, on the back side, a little bit of deformation there. Wow, that's very. But it little stopped too. it. <laughs> it stopped it. That's why. That's why we run uh, the steel backer on it, just for <laughs> that little bit of extra. Yeah, that was a good idea. Man. Should we try the M1 Grand on it? Let's do it on both, just for fun. Yeah. I want to see mine just blow in half. Yes. And funny enough, it looks the exact same. Yeah? Yep, once again, rebar's intact. Just squeeze right between them. Is that like normal circular rebar? Yes. Okay. Yep. So basically if it's not hitting directly on center, it right. might just like be right. squeezing uh, on through there. I really wanted to weld the rebar together to prevent that, but I, I didn't have access to a welder. So I kind of just did what I could with the fiberglass. Yeah. Yep. All right, moment of truth on my plate. <clears throat> That's funny, it didn't have as, actually it did not have as much uh, front deformation as the 308 makes me wonder if I'm not looking back behind from my through. <laughs> oh! Wow! It had like this nipple, this nipple back that, face deformation. not bad. But it did not go through. That is not bad. Well, my plate will keep you alive. That's pretty good. And that's not even as bad as some of the other plates deformations that I've seen. Yeah. It's a hefty boy, but if you can lug it. Sure, yeah. And you can make it right at home. That's actually really impressive, I think. That, that did a lot better than I was expecting. Bad. Two of them would be pretty bad though. Like that, that's the issue with my plate. Maybe it's like if you just wear one on front and like just always make sure you're facing the bad guy. <laughs> well, at least mine stopped the 5.56. Five, five, yeah, 5.56, five, five, that's still gonna be the most common. Not a lot of people are running around with 308 for their main rifle, although, with the U.S. Army switching over to the NGSW, who knows if that'll, you know, stay the case. Yeah. It would be really cool if we could get an NGSW and actually try it out. See how it uh, would fare against armor, but. Right. That'll have to wait for a while, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and once we're done, I want to unload my green tips on my plate. Oh yeah, you brought green tips. We should have tested the green tips. Like, actually have the green tips on it now to see. Because it would be, right now, yours is probably three, just three. Mine standard. just barely stopped 5.56, five, I think. His is like three plus. Mine's like level four, yeah. let's be honest here. <laughs> no, because if it was a full power black tips, it probably would have blown through. This but we don't have one to test, so. I should have brought the 50. That, yeah, that would have been cool. Ripped it apart. Let's see how she did. So these were the uh, M855 ball green tips with the light steel penetrator core. Let's see how Joey's plate did. I believe that was the entry for that one. Right through. Well, that's where you shot with the 308. Leave. I think we need to. De I think we might need to shoot it again and try shooting for maybe this corner here. Okay. Because I think it overlapped before you shot the 308. It could have, yeah. All right, let's check out mine. Ugh, I think it entered right here. 
nothing. I mean, that's what you'd expect. Yeah. That's a beefy plate. <laughs> I need to sell those things now. Let's try another round. I'll aim for one of the corners. Let's see how it does. Yeah. Legitimately, I have no idea where it is. All right, let's shoot it again. It actually the looks similar to the M193. Right, and it stopped it. Nothing. Not a thing. That's about the extent of what this plate is capable of. So it's kind of three plus. Like technically, level three is supposed to be able to stop M80 ball too, but uh, you, actually, you could you could call it a special threat armor because there are special threat armors that can't stop like 308 of any kind, but it'll stop like M855, which isn't even covered by normal level three. Right. So yours is kind of a, a special threat rating uh, right now. It would be really fucking cool to try <laughs> like 30 out six black tips on mine and see if it would stop it. Maybe we need to get our hands on some. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious. And then we'll shoot it with the 50 after that. 